Make a date with Reverend Dr. Ebenezer Markwe at 6 a.m. from Monday to Saturday on Graphic Online via Facebook and YouTube as he expounds on matters of faith. Graphic Online, truth and accuracy every day. This is Reverend Dr. Ebenezer Marquee of Living Streams International, bringing you matters of faith with Graphic Online. Before I go into anything at all, let me just say this and say this on my behalf, on the behalf of my cameraman, my camera crew, and the Graphic Online uh, um, editorial board, wanting to bring you a happy, happy, blessed new year. Ah, uh, my, uh, I'm just fired up. And I can see so many possibilities, but above all of this, there's a divine word in my heart. There's a, there's a Rima word in my heart. This is my year of expansion, divine expansion. Where God is going to enlarge my coast. Where, where I'm, 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 going to be, I'm going to stretch beyond. The harvest that is going to come is going to be, be, be bigger and much better than all. Oh, I know there's a threat of pa uh, uh, pandemic out, lurking out there somewhere in the spaces of, 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 of human uh, existence and human uh, interactions. But guess what? It is still my year of, of divine expansion. Last year was a year of uh, uh, endless possibilities. And boy, it, it, it started with disaster. It started with, with, with doom. It started with, um, with, with gloom. But I can tell you this for sure, and God be my witness. Listen, the possibilities that, that, that open up in last year, including my ministry to you on Graphic Online, different possibilities just began to spring up. And I, until today, it, it's still happening. All the way through the 31st, divine possibilities, endless possibilities were opening. This is our year of divine expansion, where God is going to break down the walls. God is going to uh, pull down limitations, the barriers either erected by humanity or the barriers erected by, 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 by whatever demonic forces, that they're going to come down. Why? Because it's time for you to expand. Ooh I just can't. I just can't wait to expand. My course is going, if you see the way I'm even sitting, it looks of expansion, 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 you know. But here's the interesting thing. I'm still on a roll with Rahab. And, 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 and this morning, I like to capture my thoughts with the word NC, NC. When we were kids, we used to, I mean, when we were living in boarding house, we had something we call NC, NC. And it just means no contribution, no chop. NC, NC, no contribution, no chop. But if you don't bring anything to the table, you're not going to entitle to the to the to the feast on the table. That is, you need to contribute something to the table in order for you to feast at the table. So NC NC. Now that that might sound a little bit selfish and might sound like, oh, what about if the person doesn't have? But here is the principle: Rahab. In Joshua chapter six, from verse one to nineteen, the picture pans out really, really, really well. And here is Rahab for you. Rahab pans out with. Um, she, the Bible says she sees an approaching army. She sees what God is doing in their lives. And then Rahab said, I want to be part of this army. I want to be part of this testimony. I also want to have a testimony. But Rahab and then formed a, an alliance with them. Rahab formed an alliance with them. And she said, I, I'm joining these people. Rahab decided not just join the people, but Rahab brought something to the table. She made a contribution. She said, number one, I'm going to hide you. I'm going to be part of your risk, the risk of discovery. I'm going to hide you. I'm going to protect you. I'm going to make sure that you are safe. I'm going to make sure that when the king comes, or the king of Jericho comes looking for you, he, he ain't going to find you because I'm going to hide you in the stocks of flax. I'm going to do something to cover you. I'm going to cover you. I'm going to contribute. Rahab said, I am contributing something to your, to your victory. I'm contributing something to your advancement. I'm contributing something to your progress. I'm contributing something to your success. I'm contributing something to your victory language and victory song. So Rahab brought something to the table. And by virtue of bringing something to the table, she then made a demand. Can you also do something for me? You know, every relationship must be mutually beneficial to the two parties. Otherwise, it becomes a parasitic relationship. There are people who only want to take, take, take. And they never also want to give. But this hand bathed this one and this hand bathed this one. This one bathed this one, this one also bathed the other one. So here's the interesting thing. What we are saying 
is that bring something to the table. Don't just be attach yourself like a leech or a parasite in relationships. Don't just do it. Do something too. Does this look troubling? It shouldn't be troubling at all. It's very simple. NC, NC. No contribution, no chop. Bring something to the table. You may not bring material wealth. You may not bring this thing. Sometimes you may bring a level of friendship and trust and loyalty. And you may, be, uh, uh, you may bring something to the table. Rehab didn't bring much to the table. She just hid them. But the Bible said, boy, I mean, she used us. I said, I protected you. Protect me too. And protect my family. From the destruction that is coming when the walls of Jericho come a tumbling down. Rahab said, I'm bringing something to the table. Don't be a parasite. I said it again. Every relationship must be mutually beneficial to the two parties or to the parties involved in the relationship. Otherwise, it becomes a parasitic relationship. I'm sure you are no parasite. I don't want parasites around me. I don't want parasites around me. So bring something to the table. Contribute something to the table. Contribute support. Contribute love. Contribute devotion. Contribute loyalty. And sometimes you need to make a physical contribution of finances on the table. And see, and see, no contribution, no chop. See you later.